when we do not have proper sanitation it's just that we are eating our own shit It's about precisely about the the methodology of CLTS community led total sanitation and, and the trainers have been trained on how to facilitate CLTS and trigger CLTS in the villages but more importantly the it is on the changing their own attitude attitude and behavior because the most of the participants they came from you know all the nine provinces of Solomon Islands and they they are from the Ministry of Health, the UNICEF and a number of NGOs including World Vision, the Caritas and, and many other NGOs. So these are mostly the people, the experts or sanitation specialists, you know. So they have got a mindset that we know everything and we can solve the problem of sanitation. Community at this point of time, have not yet ready for accepting now. I've got a new system where where have no uh, been law society below me. Because what a group blame me, people blame me, we grow up, we grow up with some of our practice here. Yeah? And no more practice below the community of Solomon Island, people of seaside or the using six site, people of bush or the using bush. This is why it's difficult to us at this point of time for what to change him now at the block of time because they have been born with, live with and stop with them now. Me hope that this will approach me as well as by him applying. To me, by him not directly by benefiting people, yeah, I know what me think him. Like all the business will apply to uh, other approaches, local communities where people with the other survey finish and we can just like, introduce influence on CLT. So me, me not think that but him take time for people to understand him. Side locals are he me by a little bit strong too much yeah, because I don't know about approach to talk about toilet. But he me depend on the facilitators now. What kind of language now by using? Yeah? How you put the motor how when it's uh, tools blow you? How you talk about him, local communities, you must leverage skillful how you present him. So this week, a more nice week that we will learn him two skills for how we do presentation or facilitation. You know, these tools are precisely, you know, these are very simple tools actually. Uh, these are visual tools, you know, we, some of the tools like open defecation area mapping. We, people draw maps on the ground and, uh, you know, using color powders and all papers and everything and this and that, precisely the, all the households indicating that who defecates where and um, and which are the areas where there is more uh, shit and which are the areas where less and who leaves where and with the rain and everything you know where where do they go where do they go uh, and uh, how it's contaminating waters you know the water sources and uh, you know all about that and then during emergency where do they defecate and using different other colors and also calculation of fecal materials that uh, how much one person is defecating every day and how much uh, you know fecal material is produced from each family multiplied by the number of you know members in the family and then identifying who are the ones who are producing maximum and contaminating the things and you know through this process these are all different you know tools and then uh, open defecation area transect work fecal oral contamination route mapping and also analysis of medical expenses that what diseases it it cause we all you know we ask them questions and using cards and markers and colors and they 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 tell us you know and they and they analyze the whole thing but in the process they are also reveal they also reveal a lot of things you know it's not that they don't know 
they knew all these things, they know all this, but they rediscover, you know, collectively that, oh my God, this is what we have been doing. Precisely these tools, mapping or calculations or, you know, visual analysis or transit talk or whatever, the whole idea is to trigger three things, you know. One is the element of shame. We don't go and shame them. We have no rights to do that. Our job is to be nice to people all the time. But people do, who do not understand CLTS, they think that outsiders come and shame insiders. That's totally a wrong understanding of the people. But we facilitate a process whereby the community from their own analysis, they feel ashamed. They said, what the hell are we doing? From their own analysis, they discover. The idea is that these tools are used to awaken that the sense of shame and disgust, you know, complete disgust and the food and shit and water and shit, these tools are used. And also, you know, that self-respect. As human beings, we have got all self-respect, what are we doing? And the element of fear also, because they, when they see that, you know, they are producing 5,000, you know, kilogram of shit every day and, you know, so many thousands of dollars going out of the village in a year and in 10 years, you know, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars going out, they immediately realize that, oh God, this practice of ours are pushing us to the poverty, you know, we have become more and poor and poor, but we could just change. Because the whole assumption of CLTS is that maybe they are poor, they are illiterate, or they may not know so much of things and all this, but they are all human beings, and no human being wants to live in, in filth and eat each other's filth. Lebol <laughs> This fella ladder by him must go up now, lo here. Hem. Hem, let me mean him or sim. You must climb lo here for go up now, lo this fella drama. For him must go up. Uh, another easy way, uh, you dig him hole, uh, this fella box here, you profile him, finish it, then you dig him hole. Uh, time you dig ground from hole here, you fill in now, yeah. On, turn it on top inside the box here, make them higher now, yeah? From water, you make them em safe, yeah? Okay. Finish it from here, yeah? Uh, let's say three and a half meter, yeah? And need him no more for, for ladder blow, one for stepping no more, yeah? Yeah? You build him another box, you go small box no more, then you rip him low ground, low side no more. For step on top, then can I go low, low foundation, yeah? Okay, from there now, you, there now by you walk in building one for a box hut or same, yeah? On top. Yeah? Him, for him safe from red now, yeah?
Triggering is this particular thing that you know when you use these tools in a sequence there are different sequences and then at a certain time people just start realizing from their own analysis, visual analysis, as I said, it could be mapping, it could be transit work, it could be calculation of shit, calculation of medical expenses, or even water and, and shit and food and shit and stuff and all that, you know. They, a time comes, you know, when the large, I mean, a quite a substantial section of the community, those who are participating, they realize, oh my God, we are eating, ingesting each other's feces. And that must be stopped. So they say that, you know, we are poor, how can we build it? So these are some of the questions and they say that, can you help us? And there was some, word, some woman or some man stands up and they said, I'm going to dig a hole now, right today. I, I can't allow these things to go on. So these are the flashpoints, you know, when they say, we must bring an end to this. That's, they, these are the points, you know, we, we call it triggering moments. So the facilitator have to move around and capture the triggering moments. And, and, and particularly bring those persons, those who revolt against this kind of a practice and want to make a change right then. So, and then use them as, as the lead, you know, to, to move the, uh, to, to spread the whole, whole sense of that feeling of disgust and everything and involve everyone to join that in that local collective action to stop opentification. <laughs>
things where you may discuss him yesterday and uh, me this one after this if me got him cement buy me make him cement around him if me got him drum or what for put him inside then buy me just raise him up and me must raise above uh, three feet something and now me decide to do him this way I think recently when we talk about you, me, me call a lot here, but that is family to run. Community, I'm that community because me call a take care of the rabbit simple. Me call a me call to tour all about no more. Me call to say working house. Me call to say working hall. Especially go look at the pot, cup, spoon, plate or some little house. Me call a so me call to him or some time. Me call a looking for something. Yeah, got a car. Yeah. Fly come last, we will turn who you will tell him. We will like I came no more, got something or same. Came rubbish no more. But the camp will follow, we will tell him. The thing thing blow me. We found about our same man, I came sitting no more, got him to root to must not talk about the fella. So no, one of the Italian look at the leaders got a camera, especially the long on Gabriel, eh? Where I'm coming, Italian was him, he boss. We found a rainy pond, and I'm following man for a case every day, because we found a seven dream one, and no less at the help. Blessed dream. So you know, I'm telling you, I'm happy to get to my sister there. Brother, I'm really happy to get them because of the camp. For making people away and thinking, look at them being good. And instead of family, look at them, I've got my strap, I'm maintaining, cleaning, yeah? Everything. Making them look good, low area of the family. Problem, low side low toilet. Sometimes me for using what home so toilet ya, him say full up with them from water. So me for no, or them use longer ya. Then me for try for narrow way mas, but same same too. Narrow toilet new one for digging, but full up with them. So him na me for go lo. We think yesterday or talem me for lah. So me for say okay today me try best for me doing my narrow. So I never start for Didi today because my father and daddy go out for the father, my father is alive, so I'm just stranded now. So I never tell what begin, I'm trying for Didi to get a new one. So if what the people are coming along, I think help him, I'll give him and think I'm just put on the line. I like making new toilet because me, me got a stack of chicken in. Then house blow me, him full of other people come too. So me, but me got him hard life too much for me because me got a stack of chicken in. Then all of blow me, him lose me with him hot chicken in blow me. So him no more, also hot chicken in blow me, so I go go no more water. No matter if I was a big man or same too. So no matter if I like him for, I must make him toilet. I must make him good, I must make him good, I must make him good inside, good toilet. No matter if I was a big man or same too, but I must like him stay good. So I'm not my... This is entirely different from any other training. This six days workshop, training of trainers workshop, 
you know, as you have seen in any other trainings, something is trained or taught to the people, a methodology, an idea and this and that. But the CLTS hands-on training workshop is entirely different because the first two days we bring the inputs, we tell them what is this, you know, the knowledge, experiences, skills, you know, and then uh, about CLTS, how it all evolved, what are the tools, how it works on human mind and how do you facilitate and there are a lot of skill training through role play and other things that we do. But immediately after the second day, third day three and four, the groups of workshop participants go fan out, they go to different villages and they trigger themselves. So that means you are learning something and you are getting an opportunity to apply that in real life with the community. So the third part of the workshop, first one, learn, second one, practice what you have learned and third one, just see the outcome of the outcome of your application. I mean, all of our workshop participants saw that two to three person, you know, invited potential natural leaders, we call them, they were invited from all the eight triggered villages and what a fascinating presentation they made. Start! Start! This is the main road coming down. Come down, cut him here. We're gonna split flow. Too many communities, but still one uh, bench grid. Uh, more than 500 households. So you see, we got a lot of waste here. That's producing inside local community. Yeah? Yeah? So time people in the community are not careful. They don't got them sick or something. Have not this amount of money where we calculate them. What I spend them for medical. For medical. But they about say 200 and 213 dollars, yeah? Yeah. Per week we got a one thousand four hundred and eighty-eight dollars. The students are nearly complete one of them. So after this uh, digging of toilets, eight household already started. And community willing to make a big change. After this, people are digging stuff, some are still digging now. Continue digging now. And God went to stand in Goa, Pia, and go to San Valley community in an area. In the San Valley area, so far, I'm going to plant the house over there. How many estimate it should be 50 plus house? We have located San Valley. Um, area or community we're missing. And in San Jose Valley community, what the type of toilet they use him? Have open pit. Yeah. Only few what the better not. What the proper one is safe enough. How about you have to make it safe? How about you? Free from safety, Anna. Yeah. So household, I'm responsible to belong to everything. But five people come around for check after the test to be back home. So there, we're going to be able to get a And we're going to information on the other side. Information about the people who are going to be able to find them out inside the community. You might ask, why is it going to be one household will have three farms in a house and with one uh, with, with one dwelling. So that's not enough. Yeah? Yeah. It needs one or two you know enough dwellings for useful for a household. Alright, with that, please tell me uh people find him out there are a lot of people have toilets now. It's existing toilets, but some need improvement. Yeah? Yeah. 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 For my building not a good toilet for Oketa. I mean, building good toilets so that's the beginning of an issue. So I'm not thinking, I don't think I'm not beginning to find a win value there. I thought like a mom and daddy was building good toilet, good toilet, for the beginning of a good toilet, for the beginning of a good toilet, for the beginning of a good toilet. I mean, the weight team go kilogram there, so we take two kilograms now for one day. Eh? Two kilograms of sitting now for one day. For each person, I'm buying go dispose him. So, one day, one for a man, I'm buying dispose him now. 102 kilograms of eh, eh, eh? Okay, one day. We feel privileged uh, for gaining some for something where me no survey before. And me hope 
by the end of uh, by the end of the day, through all the training, uh, all the things we've been learning, we hope by Mr. making difference for the future generation of Lumi, we upcoming generation, and our country as whole, but also suffer and go through what we are experiencing currently. We experiencing. We never thought when we thought used to think about technology. We thought technology is going to solve everything, but all that human human you know traits the the the, the human elements of motherhood social solidarity helping each other trying to community cooperation understanding using the strengths of the community and 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 also all focus towards achieving that public good that in my environment in my village rural environment or urban environment there is no human feces in the open, which is not affecting everyone. So it's all safely confined, meaning that it is not the more important issue of toilet acquisition, that I have a toilet or you have a toilet. It's not the story. The story is no one is defecating in the open. I may not have a toilet, but my community is not going to allow me to shit here and there, you know. I have to use my friend's toilet or my relative's toilet. That's more important. So the whole public good question. And everybody is trying to stop that. They did now have no number two April. They did now have a time when we were putting for by this for completion of the toilet house we were for building. Then by finish. And you 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 think strong that this one is achievable? It's a community view for you for casting and finishing everyone for for no go to the other side. Uh, at the moment, uh, how me fella uh, work together and uh, talk together, discussing everything. Yeah, I uh, will. Uh, me fella come to the uh, same uh, thing, thing no more that uh, but me fella have to do him now because for stopping this fella uh, uh, sickness for uh, affecting me fella, and then uh, for this fella the uh, came city uh, where other uh, usually or the tell him for me fella about himself program. Yeah, he must be finished and stop. So me fella bro, uh, like him too much now for uh, same uh, finishing that one. I am very, very hopeful, particularly in the Pacific region, that these are low-hanging fruits, particularly in terms of the population of the, of the island nations in the Pacific. None of them are a million, you know. I mean, these four I have been watching, you know, like Kiribati is 109,000 people. This is about 50 to 500 to 600,000 people in Solomon Islands, you know. But inaccessibility is a bit there, and also they are spread. You know, uh, islands are spread out in different, you know, in different areas in the Pacific. But even then, what I have seen, if there is a political will, if these are rolled out, this could be the first one, two, three, top, the first open defecation-free countries achieved through CLTS in the world. You know, that chance is very much there. So I am very, very hopeful, and I am very pleased to be here in the Pacific region.